Starfield LG G3 OLED. What do they have in common and why are we watching this video? Well, it might be the best Xbox gaming experience you can find. And you're going, okay, Thunder E, are we reviewing both the game and the TV? Mm, technically not. I'm just telling you my experience and hopefully you get to enjoy this and see a glimpse of what we have here. Now, if you're joining us for the very first time, this is Board at Work. My name is Thunder E and I make videos on gaming and tech that I love, including TVs and of course video games. Now, go ahead, hit the subscribe button and watch more videos on the channel because I think you're going to really enjoy this. Now you're wondering why am I mixing the two together? I'd mentioned I've had these two for a while. I've been doing a lot of traveling, which is why I've not had time to spend a lot on the TV and also a lot on the game. So I'm not reviewing the game, but I'm giving you my experience of what I've seen. Let's start off with Starfield and why it's so important. Starfield is the biggest game for the Xbox this year, and it shows. This is something that I think a lot of Xbox gamers will love. It's a big action RGP game. Uh, it's world expansive, there are many universes, uh, sorry, many galaxies to, to venture into, many planets to explore, and it gives me a quick reminder of two games. One is Destiny, which I am not a fan of. I know it's gotten better, and I have friends who play Destiny. And another one is um, Star Citizen, which is a massive PC game that is still in alpha, that has a lot of the similar vibes that you find here. Now, what makes Starfield different is a couple of things. Besides, of course, the accessories itself. Now, we'll talk about that later. But what makes it special and different is it's more accessible and still very customizable as a game. You can customize your character down to the T. You can also do a lot of customizations to your ship. You can customize the controls. And speaking of those controls, they felt a little bit wonky, but there's customization tools in there and I just haven't gone to change them. But I was able to adapt to the controls quite well. You can play either first person mode, third person mode, or third person behind camera mode. So whichever angle you want to use to actually gain, it actually works. Now the idea of the game is pretty simple. You're on a mining planet, you get attacked, and then you find this organization that um, takes you on this journey. It's the simplest way without me spoiling anything for you. But what you find is that you've got action on the ground um, uh, as your, yourself, the individual, and you have action in space as well with your ship, where you can, of course, uh, fire lasers, you can fire missiles. Uh, there's a lot of air-to-air -air action, which is actually kind of fun and works out pretty well. Overall, I'm enjoying the gaming experience, and on this TV, as you've been seeing it, it looks absolutely gorgeous. Now, the LG G3 OLED is the right kind of TV to game on, and I think right now, OLED is probably one of the best TVs to play games on. Whether you're looking at the LG G3, or say even like the Samsung QD OLED, they do a fantastic job. Now, LGA has the LMA technology, which makes it much brighter, especially whether in daylight or even in darker scenes. And you see this TV do a really good job. What I'm gaming during the daytime or at night, it really shows and it's vibrant. Now, let's talk about how this actually affects gameplay. It just means that everything looks crisp and sharp. So the details on the ship is clear, whether you're fighting in space battles, whether you're in a dark room, you can clearly see and enjoy that gameplay to the highest. And there's 4K 120 hertz display. You also have multiple uh, ports there, four HDMI uh, ports at 4K 120. And uh, you know, look, this game actually does it well in terms of performance. Uh, I was doing about 118 frames per second, according to, of course, um, you know, the game menu that you have, which you can actually pop up by hitting, of course, a uh, button on your remote control, giving you access to see what your game is doing, what your console is doing, and also customizing a few settings in there. So there's customizations on both sides. But what about the audio? How well do the built-in speakers sound?
It's really good. It's loud, it's crisp. You can hear the space battles well. It does a really good job. Now, the LG TV runs WebOS. Uh, I think it's WebOS something now, I don't know. I know they've been using WebOS for years. And it works really, really well. I think just navigating the apps and also being able to, of course, play games directly, like through GeForce Now, but we're not talking about that, really goes to show how well and robust this is. But for me, the gaming experience has been truly awesome. Sitting down using my, you know, my Starfield branded Xbox controller and headset, I was able to just jump in and feel the game the way I want to. Now, this TV is not for everyone. Price-wise, it's 2,799, and that means it's an expensive TV. Not everyone can afford it. But if you can, I will definitely recommend this TV. Is it better than my Samsung um, S95C? Eh, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I, I like that for other reasons, I also like that for gaming as well. But I think if you're an LG fan, you will absolutely love what the G3 brings to the table. Um, in terms of setup, it's pretty easy, but not as easy as some other TVs. Uh, and also, again, this TV has just gorgeous views. Honestly, this is probably one of the best TVs to game on, and I think uh, people will like that. As for Starfield fans, Xbox fans, I think you'll be happy with this game. I've just scratched the surface, and I think there's so much more to, to do with it. Now, I wanna see how it works on my mobile PC handheld devices, like my ROG iLine, stuff like that, because I've been doing a lot of travel and I wanna continue this journey on the road. There's a lot to the game and I still think that there will be some tweaks that are needed, but the game is optimized and you can see it was running well on the Xbox without any issues. That's my Xbox Series X. I'll try it on my Xbox Series S. Also try it on a few PCs and laptops to see how it all runs. But the gaming experience so far has been fun being able to use different weapons, uh, you know, like the laser, machine gun, all that stuff is great, but also flying around the ship is fantastic. I think it's pretty good. So anyway, guys, let me know what you think. Leave your thoughts down below. Otherwise, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, pick up any of the devices you see here, and always enjoy your entertainment.